hey hey everyone welcome back to my channel i am your host alexis monet and before we get started make sure you all hit that like share subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video okay everyone so cardi b dropped a new single called enough and i do think in my opinion that this song is better than her freestyle called like what that was released a week before enough was released now i will say the music video was okay and cardi did get some cute fashion looks but overall in my opinion the song is still mid now it was reported by chart data that cardi b's enough did make it to number one on itunes and her single also did debut at number 40 on the spotify charts so i am interested to see where this single will land next week on the billboard hot 100 chart because cardi b does have a couple of singles out right now and it does look like she is heavily promoting this single so we'll just have to all wait and see if cardi b singles will stick on the billboard charts within the next few weeks now moving along to the next topic now speaking about Cardi B's new single, it does seem like Bia had a few words about Cardi B and her new song. Now fans did notice that Bia made a couple of posts after Cardi B's single Enough was released that led fans to believe that she may have been shading Cardi B. Bia did go on to say, ask and you shall receive. She also went on to say, it's getting weird. Now it does seem like Cardi may have peeped what Bia said online because she did go on IG Live not too long after Bia made those posts and she seemingly went on to say that she will expose Bia. So check this out. I don't even draw receipts and these fucking conversations and the conversations are embarrassing. You are embarrassing. Stop playing with me. I don't bother you. I don't sub you bitch. I don't talk about you bitch. I don't f you bitch. Stop f with me. Now it has been speculated that Bia has been subbing and shading Cardi B ever since Cardi did use the same sample of Missy Elliott's song, She's a B, for her song called Like What? And Bia also did use the same sample for her single titled I'm That B. Now Cardi's single Enough's beat does sound very similar to Bia's single called Fall Back's beat. And Bia did low-key shade Cardi B when the snippet to Cardi B's new song was released last week. Because the beats do sound very similar. So there may be some beef between Bia and Cardi B. It was always rumored that Bia was once a fan of Cardi B and did support her. But she did switch up when she linked up with Nicki Minaj and did the remix to her single A Whole Lot of Money. So Cardi may have receipts on Bia for talking crazy about Nicki and maybe other female rap artists. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see how this all plays out. Hopefully it stays to the music and doesn't get too serious. Now moving along to the final topic. Now Cardi B was also featured on the remix to Flo Millie's song called Never Lose Me alongside SZA. Now in my opinion, I am a fan of the original song. I really do enjoy the original song. This song did introduce me to Flo Millie as an artist, but the remix is okay. Now SZA's verse was pretty decent. SZA did seem to mesh well and catch the beat, but Cardi B did sound a little choppy and out of place in my opinion. Now her verse was not trash, but tone wise, I don't think Cardi B really fit the song and in my opinion i don't think the song is trash but i will prefer to listen to the original but you let me know how you feel about these topics down below thanks again for joining me for another video and until next time bye